The roundtable is powered by Patreon, including supporters like Justin Cristelli. I hope I got that right. He's recently launched a Kickstarter for his comic, Red Knight Relaunch. Guys, this has me very excited. The art feels like a vintage comic book, as if I strode into a comic shop only to discover a brand new superhero. The design is simple, but very effective. And the Kickstarter only has about a week left, and they're almost funded. Let's make some dreams come true. Link in the description. If you want to get a shout out on the roundtable, head over to our Patreon. Shout outs are our highest tier. Now on to the video. Welcome back to Crystal Clear! I'm Ushrek Vox, and while the trailer for Steve Universe's movie is keeping a lot of things mystery, the diamonds, the townies, the identity of the film's villain, the trailer did not leave us completely hanging at all, as it gave us insight into the villain's plan. She's arrived on Earth with a machine that within 41 hours will suck the Earth completely dry of all resources and organic life. Animals, insects, trees, human beings, they all have a clock counting down above their heads. However, Steven has remarked that the gem has arrived to kill him specifically, which I think gives us insight on the bigger picture. What's really at play? Now, I tease this theory in my breakdown of the trailer. Check that out after this if you haven't, but I'm sure by the time this goes up, many, many other people will have come to the same conclusion. So what is this villain's plan? What's their angle? Why do they want the Earth destroyed? And and what did Steven do to piss them off? Well, let's dive in, shall we? All right, so first things first, considering we still don't know the identity of the villain, any and all theories are still likely. She could still be a Morganite, she could be a failed attempt at replacing Pink Diamond, or she could be an entirely new gem. There's also a fourth option that I might explore in a future video that a few people have thrown out suggestions for that I also really vibe with. Regardless, this theory does not contradict any of those theories, and in fact, in the case of both Morganite and Pink 2.0, I will provide explanations on how this theory feeds into both. As we touched on in our breakdown of the trailer, this giant machine that has drilled itself into the Earth, that's sucking away all of its resources and will eradicate all life, it seems very apparent that this is none other than a giant gem injector. After all, not only is the design spot on, with a few changes, perhaps some details could just be what modern injectors look like, but the top is modeled to correlate with the villain's gem stone, which is kind of terrifying, as it really does show she has a personal vendetta against Steven. Loud and proud that this injector is hers. But why bring a giant gem injector? And why Earth in particular? Well, considering this is a pink gem, the injector is filled with pink goo, and the color pink is just plastered all over this trailer, I believe that this gem came to the planet to kill this gem in order to make a new but familiar gem. Are you guys following along? I, I know I said gem a lot. Uh, she's trying to make a brand new pink diamond. I believe that Steve Universe the movie will be the final installment in the pink diamond diamond saga. Everything with Steven's identity, the internal and external conflict and feelings around Pink Diamond, Rose Quartz, the gem war, it will all come to an end here. As the film's villain is going to use what was Pink Diamond's planet, what was supposed to be a colony at one point in time, to bring everything full circle, and from her own twisted perception, use what was given to Pink Diamond to create a brand new diamond. Now, that might not be the biggest pill to swallow, but you are probably wondering, well, why? Why create a brand new Pink Diamond? Why possess this vendetta against Steven? Well, first, let's look at the Pink Diamond 2.0 theory, that this gem was a failed attempt at Pink Diamond. Well, if she's supposed to be a replacement for Pink, why on earth would she want to replace herself? Simple. Because in her eyes, this is her redemption arc. Emerging after the war, the emotions would have been high for the diamonds. And after seeing a felt pink, the diamonds wouldn't bother. But because of Blue Diamond's emotional attachment to everything pink, she would have fought for the experiment to at least be bubbled. And now in Era 3, where the idea of perfection has redefined itself, all the gems that could have been punished by bubbling are now free and accepted. That's where this new pink comes in. She came out wrong. She was rejected. Yet Steven who to the everyday gem would be viewed as an off-color pink diamond is loved and embraced by the diamonds and that would drive pink 2.0 up the wall how come this pink was loved cherished by the diamonds cherished by homeworld when i was rejected so as both an act of revenge and to right her wrongs of existing quote unquote again i'm trying to think from her hypothetical mindset neither her or steven should exist and if the diamonds accept an off-color pink diamond 
one who doesn't obey their purpose, who came and altered everyone's purpose, then they'll be over the moon for a proper pink diamond. A pink diamond who's the ruthless, tyrannical ruler that the Crystal Gems believed she was during the war. A pink diamond who would hold up the rules and philosophy that Homeworld just broke out of. But let's say this gem isn't a pink 2.0, and her mission to create a new diamond isn't that deep. Well, let's apply this to the Morganite theory, and by extension, any gem that this villain could possibly be. Although again, real world pink sweetheart Morganite is a close match. Well, this could be a gem who, thanks to Steven, had their entire world pulled out from underneath their feet. A gem who didn't just enjoy Homeworld's old rules, they loved them. They lived by them every single day for thousands of years. We speculated before that the Ness antagonist in CV Universe could be a gem who's resisting change. Although I expected that to be the focus of season six, that could be the focus of this villain, someone who's emerging from the shadows, feeling as if Steven did them dirty. The changes in era of peace that Steven has brought to Homeworld has ruined this gem's life so much to the point where it broke them, which is why they're so vicious and violent in the film. At one point in the trailer, it even appears as if they mouth, I hate you, while attacking Steven. So, either viewing Steven as a fraud, believing this isn't actually Pink Diamond, it's nothing more than a poser, someone who managed to fool the diamonds, or this gem is just under the impression Pink Diamond has lost her way. She changed everything for the worse, and now she must go down. It all leads to the same conclusion. Arriving on Earth, with this giant gem injector and replace this pink diamond with a quote unquote proper one that again would from her mind revert homeworld right back to normal. Now it's also possible this gem is trying to create another Steven because while the injector in the kindergarten did wipe away all of its resources, we have no reason to believe that organic beings were directly affected by an injector. However, in the film, it appears organic beings will be affected, not just by Paradox dialogue, but also by the appearance of intense dark circles that appear under Steven's eyes that are similar to when his gemstones ripped out and change your mind. Although I believe Steven does have his gemstone intact here, he's still slowly dying from this injector. Perhaps this injector is not only pulling from resources in the earth, but is also drawing out organic life force because his gem is trying to create an evil Steven. Half human, half gem, all genocidal maniac. Now, whether or not we're going to see this new diamond emerge is yet to be seen. Most would assume, of course we're not. The Earth would be destroyed. But also, CV Universe has surprised us before. We all knew the cluster would come back at some point, but did we think it was going to emerge? Even if it was only its arm? I sure didn't. With a concept as exciting as a brand new diamond, or a completely evil Steven, I'm not sure if the series would pass that up. And who knows, maybe said diamond is created in the film only to flee and become the antagonist of season six and beyond. But you're probably wondering, well, if this does happen, wouldn't the earth be doomed? And for that, I'm gonna leave you guys hanging until we roll out another theory that kind of builds off this idea. What effects this giant gem injector will have on Beat City and the earth? And how this movie is a lot bigger to the series than we may think. But as always, these are just my thoughts, and I want to hear yours. Do you think the villain of this film is creating another diamond? Why or why not? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, or tweet your thoughts at RoundtableVids. And for more of my own thoughts, you can find me at Austin Fox. We're also on Instagram. Special thanks to Art with Coda for creating an awesome thumbnail. For more of his amazing art, you can find him on Tumblr and Instagram at Art with Coda, and subscribe to his YouTube channel. Link in the description. Hope the Roundtable grow by either becoming a member of this channel, or supporting us over at Patreon. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please run a like and subscribe to the roundtable for more great cartoon content. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have an awesome day. Austric Vox, signing out.